Noctowl, realistically, should have been a psychic flying type. Noctowl is a bizarre Pokemon in GCN U. When first looking at it, you'd expect it to be a specially defensive wall. The last thing you'd expect it to be is a Curse Sweeper, but lo and behold, that's what it is. While Noctowl does have a low attack stat, it has the best special bulk of any normal type. Noctowl is par flying, so it has an immunity to spikes, as well as an immunity to ground moves in general. Noctowl does have advantages over other bulky curse normal types. Unfortunately, it has disadvantages too. Noctowl's typing plague with weaknesses that other normal types don't have. Noctowl's poor attack and defense give it a worse matchup against certain Pokemon. Most of the Pokemon that trouble other Curse Normal types also trouble Noctowl. Noctowl faces a lot of competition from other Normal types. It's an overall mediocre Pokemon and it struggles to find a place on teams. Let's further analyze the Owl Pokemon. As mentioned, Curse is the only set Noctowl uses. Noctowl doesn't have the move pull or typing to be an effective special wall. Its typing leaves it with weaknesses to ice and electric. Noctowl has a poor attack stat, and while it does have a good special attack stat, it doesn't have stab on any special attacks. It barely learns any attacking moves anyway. A Noctowl without curse would be passive and easy to abuse. With Curse though, it poses a bigger threat. Noctowl initially hits like a pool noodle, but this is mostly solved by clicking Curse a few times. Curse also boosts Noctowl's defense. After a Curse, Noctowl's physical bulk is higher than its special bulk. Noctowl is the bulkiest normal type on the special side, and man is it bulky. Zatio's super effective Hidden Power Ice is a mere 5 hit KO on Noctowl. Octillery and Magmar, the two Pokemon with the highest special attack stat, only 4 hit KO on Noctowl. Actually, Octillery Surf is a 55% chance to 4 hit KO on Noctowl. Noctowl is incredibly tanky on the special side. Noctowl can use its special bulk to accumulate multiple curse boosts and pose a threat. It can set up easily on Zatu, as well as Pokemon like Ninetales and Gloom. Noctowl's power flying typing has its uses too. It gives Noctowl a very useful immunity to spikes, making it more difficult to wear down. It makes it easier for Noctowl to come in, since it isn't taking spikes chip. It lets Noctowl pivot into ground moves from Pokemon like Dugtrio. Noctowl's flying typing means it is neutral to fighting and not weak to it, so it's less pressured by Primeape, Hitmonlee, and Cross Chop Magmar. With rest and sleep talk, Noctowl has maximum longevity and it doesn't care about status. Rest Talk Noctowl is a consistent switch into Pokemon like Zatu, and Sleep Talk lets it remain active while asleep. It can gain additional curse boosts or fire off attacks. Normal is a great offensive typing in GCNU. There's only a handful of rock types, one steel type in Magnemite, and one ghost type in Ghastly. The rock and steel types are not Pokemon you can slap on every team, and Ghastly is almost never seen. This makes mono normal coverage acceptable on Noctowl. It threatens to sweep teams that forego a normal resist. When team building with Noctowl, you should account for the stuff that it loses to, and see if what it provides over other normal types is good for your team. Noctowl sucks versus Sudowoodo, Graveler, and Pupitar, so Octillery is a good partner. Noctowl sucks versus Chinchou, so Gloom or a Sleep Talk Normal work well. Noctowl sucks versus Dugong, so something like Hitmonlee, Chinchou, or a bulky Sleep Talk Normal work well. Noctowl is iffy against Weezing, so Ninetales and Graveler are favourable partners. Noctowl has the best Zatu matchup of all the normals, 
So if your team is struggling against the bird, Noctowl can work. Noctowl is most effective against teams that don't use a rock type, Dewgong, Magnemite, or a fellow bulky curse normal, like Wigglytuff. Now, while Noctowl does have a fine niche, it's not common for a reason. While Noctowl's flying typing does give it a ground immunity, it also gives it weaknesses to ice, electric, and rock. The ice weakness sucks because Dewgong is very common and reliably 3 KO's Noctowl. Noctowl is also 3 KO'd by Ice Beam Octillery. The electric weakness sucks because Noctowl is a normal type that can't check Chinchou and it gets 2 KO'd by Magnemite. Non-stop hidden power electrics or thunder punches don't scare Noctowl much, but thunders from Pokemon like Weezing do. These added weaknesses are a big deal. Noctowl sucks versus some Pokemon that other normal types don't mind. Speaking of other normal types, Noctowl's poor attack and defense mean it is disadvantaged in Curse Wars. For example, a plus 6 Noctowl only 5 hit KOs a plus 6 defense Wigglytuff, while the plus 6 attack Wigglytuff 3 hit KOs with double edge. Noctowl also loses the Curse War to Curse Dunsparce and Porygon. Noctowl's poor attack means it takes longer for it to pose a threat than the other cursed normal types. Noctowl also shares its issues with these other cursed normals. Because it's using mono normal coverage, rock types have a good matchup against it. Rock types are tougher for Noctowl because of its rock weakness. Noctowl can't even try to paralyze them because it doesn't even learn body slam. Moves like Explosion and Screech are just as annoying for Noctowl as they are for other cursed normals. Noctowl is also a bit of a hacks magnet. It's usually on the field for an extended period of time, giving you more opportunities to just crit through it. Noctowl only has one viable set, so it's extremely predictable. You know what Noctowl will do when it comes in, and you can play accordingly. As a result of all this, Noctowl is very rarely seen in GSDNU. It faces a lot of competition from other cursed normals, and its advantages are usually not worth it. Porygon has Thunder Wave and Recover, Wigglytuff is versatile and has great mixed bulk, Statler has Earthquake and a wide supporting move pool. Noctowl isn't terrible, but it's a very niche and specific Pokemon in GSCNU.